there and welcome back to my channel. In my video today I'm going to be sharing some of our ideas of what we feed our six year old for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Most of the snacks I feed her involve some kind of fruit or veg. Without ado, let's get into this video. So on a cold morning, let's start off with breakfast. I'll chop some apple and I'll take the skin off and then I will put that in a pan of boiling coconut milk or almond milk. I'll add some porridge and I'll serve that with some dried apricots and cinnamon. The cereal we have at home is Alpha Bites, it's by Bear, you probably all heard of the snack called Yo-Yo Bears. I'll serve that with coconut milk again, some kiwi, tomatoes, usually a crumpet, anything that looks good on a platter before school and that's quick and easy. Usually on a weekend we will do scrambled eggs, I'll serve it with bacon and some rocket. Sometimes Olivia will eat the rocket salad, sometimes not, otherwise she'll just have a really big serving of different kinds of fruits. My six year old has lost her two front teeth and she's waiting for her big ones to come through. Until then she's finding it quite hard to bite her fruits, so I've been cutting it up. Moving on to lunch ideas, wraps are a great alternative to bread. I usually put some avocado inside Olivia's and I serve that with some fresh turkey from the butchers. And then I'll roll the wrap and I will secure it with a small Ventos pin. You can get these from eBay and they're really good for using as fruit picks or for any kinds of other small foods. I've popped a portion of fruit and veg on the side and that's cucumber and peach. We've been growing our own fruits and veg in the garden, so we definitely incorporate that into our everyday meals. For this lunchtime snack, I'm just going to do a simple platter of rice, tomatoes, strawberries, and some fig. Sometimes Olivia eats it, depends what mood she's in. And these little bites are from Costco. They're simply just macaroni cheese bites. This is a picnic for two children. Today we're off out with Olivia's friend and I've just packed pineapple, cucumber, kiwi, tomatoes and some apples. Instead of doing sandwiches, I'm going to let them have some mixed tuna and some crackers. You can find a range of gluten-free crackers in your local superstore. We don't necessarily have to eat gluten-free, I just prefer having gluten-free crackers rather than bread. Here's the type that we use, we like the matzo crackers and the shark crisp bread crackers. After I've potted everything up, I'll also pot up some homemade avocado with a dash of salt. We use the little Yeo yogurts and I'll take some crisps and a sweet snack for the girls. Regularly use a yum box at home for serving lunches and I'll just see what I've bought in the week and I'll just fill it with tomatoes, orange segments, kiwi, cheese, turkey, cucumber, gluten-free crackers or anything else we've got. For the weekend, I'll batch cook a big potato dish. This is layered potato with cheese and nutmeg. You can see a recipe in one of my other YouTube videos. And then I'll take veg such as courgette, peppers, garlic, onion, and I'll throw that all in the slow cooker and cook a chicken dish. Olivia's job is always to pick her own sweet corn and then I'll cook it for her and she enjoys eating it more that way. She's really not a fan of the cooked veg from the slow cooker so I'll serve her some coconut chicken with pasta. And then finally at the weekends also we like to serve Buddha bowls which means we can just use all of our fruit and veg and nuts and seeds and anything that we have left in the fridge or the cupboards and I'll serve that with some baked butternut squash driveled in olive oil. We'll all eat that together around the dinner table. Thanks so much for joining me today in my kitchen. Please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can watch more lifestyle videos. I'll see you soon with a brand new video. Until then, bye bye.